Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to the Infected. We're going to have a stormy day, which is not good. Uh, I think all we need for um, the water house is aluminum and uh, power. So what I have here is a junction box, a, um, no, I mean a uh, control panel, a junction box, and a single relay, which is about, about, um, right here so it's going to come down this way on an angle which doesn't it's not really that low actually can i crouch just a little bit so the power is actually right about uh where it says edit or e to add materials so it's going to come through the building a little bit and honestly i don't care <laughs> i'm not i'm not like into the whole uh beauty is more important than function thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, I went and got some aluminium, and uh, I don't think I went to get the cobalt. Oh, no. I went to get the cobalt, but uh, I had never turned on uh, the extractor, so it was, um, yeah. It was uh, full of uh, uh, fluid, but had no... Uh, stuff uh, and or things in it. I wish I could show you how to do the ice, ice fishing thing, but I don't know if it still works. And uh, basically you can see uh, fish swimming uh, right under the surface of the ice. See them? I don't know if you can see that, but you kind of need to, because they'll run away from you so you kind of, ugh, those gosh darn bambies. Uh, you kind of need to uh, stand in one place and wait and maybe even crouch. Uh, I missed that, that one five times. Okay, let's go get whatever this guy's got. He actually had a little death scream that time. Oh, nice. Biofuel. Blue shirt guy truly is a good guy. Uh, these things are not filling up. I had to water the entire greenhouse by hand last night. And uh, everything should be watered. And uh, I made a little bit of uh, fruit salad. Door. Uh, so my big goal for today is to do something about this nightmare with the spike traps. But uh, I want to put my workshop or my house, and I think I'll turn that into my house. Uh, I want to put my workshop, my work area out here. It's uh, closest to the truck. Uh, we also need to um, make a cement mixer. It takes 90 cement, and so 5 times 9 is 45, right? Um, that's 450 minutes to make 90 cement. No, wait, no, no, it makes 10 at a time. Yeah, it makes 10 at a time, so that's that's not right. It's 45 minutes. And uh, <laughs> I did something super crazy yesterday. The echo is strong with this one. I don't know what's going on. Um, I did something super crazy yesterday. I bought Planet Cla Crafter. Um, to take a look at that, and um, I'm not willing to put up with the damage. What do we need? Aluminum. I bought a uh, Planet Crafter, and I meant to just look at it for a few minutes uh, and shoot a quick, um, a quick look video. It's been a really long time since I did that. A quick look. I've got all of that. Um, and I played for 10 straight hours. <laughs> that will tell you. <laughs> that will most assuredly tell you. Oh, I already got, got the aluminum. It's right there. Goofball. Hey, come on. There we go. All right, now we will have a water house. And we can move forward. Uh, no, I'm not going to put... Oh, uh, for goodness sake. Um, water house. Except, <laughs> really, okay. <laughs> How you doing? 
You're doing rocks. Uh, the extractor's doing rocks for me. All right, next we need to build these things. And so that is copper, cobalt, iron, and screws all the way. And uh, except for this little relay, which needs two electrical parts. Let's grab that. And then we can do um, all the other stuff all together. Copper, cobalt, iron, and screws, that is uh, relay right there. All right. Iron we have. We have two of the cobalt. Uh, okay. Oops. Oh, it's four. Excuse me. Wait a minute. And just one. Okay, now we need to cook cobalt. We have dozens of tons of it. I, I'm going to go ahead and make ten. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put it, though. Oh, I need fuel for that. Uh, coal. No glass. Keep your glass. <laughs> Caught that in the nick of time. How about this guy? Ah, it's not empty, but coal is cheap. Uh, copper. Um, that's, that's stuff. <laughs> All right, let's go do a full run of copper as well. Okay. Now then, do we have the tool? We do. It's right there. All righty. <sighs> That's the upgrade tool. Oh my gosh. Seriously, dude. <laughs> I dragged him out of bed and I have fed him, so there you go. <laughs> uh, I think the wire is in here. We need uh, one, a two, a uh, three. Yeah. We have 19. That's ridiculous. <laughs> How much longer? Good grief. Uh, cement mixers uh, also take power. Uh, this also needs aluminum and copper. But we've got the copper covered. It's already in aluminum. We still need to cook. Four. I'll just make those seven on the bottom there. There we go. Uh, do I have three of those? So yeah, making three more isn't going to work out. All right. Oh, I got that. And oh, that one doesn't need it. Really? Oh, it's electrical parts instead. Okay. That ain't going to fit in there. It ain't. <laughs> Does this thing need uh, cobalt? Negative. Oops. That was weird. All right, there is some stuff. We got to build a whole building out there with shelves and forges and all kinds of uh, goodly things. Uh, still need the screws. And what about this guy? Uh, he just needs screws. Okay. Screws are right there. Wow, 43. Uh, there's that. Yep, yep, yep. And hello, where's my pointer? There it is. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's put the copper away. Yes, yes. <laughs> I need to take some of these clothes off, but I want to get started on that big building out there. Oh, by the way, this happened. Dang dog. All right. Here we go. Uh, no, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, upgrade brick window. There we go. Uh, e to pull a wire to there. Uh, there we go. E to pull a wire to 
there and E to pull a wire all the way around the corner uh, to uh, there. All right. Now, unhand your upgrade tool. Don't keep your upgrade tool in your hand <laughs> or you will be so sad. All right, here we go. Power on, power on. There we go. Now we are pumping water, which I can't even show you because I already watered. <laughs> but we're gonna build the sink right now. So I don't think anything was lacking any water. And uh, definitely water house, after you get going, water house is not something that you're gonna keep running. It's just something that you turn on uh, for um, 10 or 15 seconds. And as you can see, we have 100 power in, 100 power out. We are dead even. If we add batteries, we'll be able to run more stuff, but on a temporary basis. All right. Let's get this thing go out of the way and go see about our kitchen sink. There was an update to the Trello today. If you uh, have not been on the Trello recently, uh, you can access it through the Discord or uh, through the uh, Steam uh, community stuff. Uh, the update had to do with washing your hands in the sink, which has been moved from a player suggestion to a possibility perhaps maybe uh, so for aluminum oh yes for aluminum where did I put it there it is and really I need to get this keep this going and put the screws away I think I need nails for the I also went out and got uh, some rocks there are a little tiny bit down the road, so I didn't want to um, drag you guys uh, down there for uh, the absolutely always uh, interesting rock pounding. <laughs> All right, there we go. And uh, we'll put those back. Now then, what do we need from the yard? Uh, we need two copper super easy and 10 planks which I might have yep there we go up 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 <laughs> there we go fantastico take another drink there Absolutely fresh water, doesn't have to be cooked. Brand shiny, spanking new sink. Uh, as your builder, I would suggest that you do not use abrasive chemicals on your beautiful aluminum sink as they will scratch it. I heard that story recently from my own builder. <laughs> Please do not use uh, abrasive chemicals. Okay. There we go. I am super slow today. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> 10 hours, I tell you. 10 hours straight on a new game. It is a uh, very um it is a very addictive game. I'll I'll bring you guys a uh, quick look for that. All right. So, we've got plenty of meat. We've got 6 hours left on the oldest stuff. And um, 15 hours left on the youngest stuff. The cans are still at 21 hours. We definitely need to eat. And 10 hours now on that. There we go. And we need some vegetables. Nope, we're actually fine. We'll put that can away. And try to get out of the box. There we go. And drink some water. Oh, we didn't need the water. Perfectly healthy. All right, so we have all this stuff set up. And the next thing is cement mixer. And I had thought about building the uh, 
um, work area first, but uh, actually, I think I'd like to get started on this. Let's see here. Um, my mind just completely blanked out. Cement mixer. Uh, it only requires 40 power, which means we can run two of them. So we will stack them up right here. I don't know if I can build two, but I can run two. Uh, they need um, uh, four electrical parts each, four mechanical each, lots and lots and lots of iron. All right, let's see. Uh, we're gonna have to make an electrical part and all of that and minus two of those. We have a piece of plastic, so I don't have to stop and build the chemistry table. Um, we just need the uh, advanced workbench. Uh, what am I missing from that recipe? Uh, electrical, nothing. That's it. Here we go. Uh, copper, cobalt, and plastic. One electrical part. All right, let's get some, what was the other part? 10 screws each, okay. And we'll get the iron going. There we go. Oh, screws, I picked up nails, I needed screws. There we go. I think we are gonna have to have a relay for that though. Unless I can run two wires through my building and no, <laughs> I don't want to do that. I think we're gonna have to have a relay, relay for that. So I am going to put a relay right there. Relay. Placeables power relays. Uh, was that a relay? Relay. Oh my God, I cannot. Relay. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can run two wires from the same relay. I don't know. Never thought about it. Uh, probably we're going to have to have more than one relay. All right, let's go outside and do some work because I need to get this building started. You notice the uh, foliage is turned off at the moment making it extra blinding. Oh my gosh. Ugh, I almost wish it was cloudy. Let's see here. This one is square, this foundation. So we will start by taking foundations square off of there. Okay. The uh, foundations for the power are not square. All right. That one. I think we are maybe gonna have to go that wide. And we're gonna take out that one. It's so blinding, I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, as soon as I can get wood into it, it'll stop being blinding. <laughs> All right. I think the sooner I get this building done, I, I hate to build that uh, relay over there. What? I wasn't holding very much, was I? Uh, I hate to put that relay in there just to move it over here. We might do something like light poles. Uh, four, there we go. That takes sweeping things under the porch to a whole new level. The bark chips and fiber. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh boy. Still cut down some trees. It is so uncomfortable. The blinding snow. <laughs> it's so t so very typical of winter, though. 
It's like... If you live anywhere where you have this snowy kind of winter, uh, then you know what it's like because it's like you got to deal with it every year. My best friend uh, lives in Australia, and uh, in, uh, he does not have. <laughs> he does not have, He's actually from New Zealand. He is not unfamiliar with the concept of snow. <laughs> But anything much below 70 degrees is freezing cold to him, so. <laughs> Blot out some of this snow with some building. There we go. It's going to take a lot. <laughs> I do have some wood chopped. But it's over by the house, and uh, it's there for firewood if for some bizarre, um, unusual reason. I should have more than, you know, I don't know how much coal I have, like 25 days of blizzards. <laughs> if something broke in the game. <laughs> okay, I'm overprepared. <laughs> I admit it. <laughs> Let's do this one. <laughs> I feel like uh, we've done a lot of adventuring lately. And uh, it makes it weird to sort of uh, settle down and do some building. Uh, there's got to be something. There we go. <laughs> Is that one too? Uh, oh, I missed one. All right. Need to load up the circular saw. <laughs> uh, there we go. I couldn't find the one key. That is so nice. Four strikes, two for this. This is the reason why we need the grinder. Because this is going to be a lot of wood chopping. And uh, I would rather not uh, use, you know, three iron ingots every time I run out of an axe. Although I have done it in the past. Um, I didn't always have all this stuff. Oh, load this thing. There we go. I do really need to uh, get some wood piled up, but uh, by the time I get to piling up wood, I could have been done with the building, you know. We have a little bit more to do. Uh, why aren't the Bambies bothering me? I think that makes me more uncomfortable. <laughs> we had one Bambi. There's been a lot of discussion in the Discord uh, lately about what the Bambies are attracted to. And uh, there's, there's two sort of ideas. Now, uh, I could tell you what they're programmed to do, but uh, that doesn't mean anything because there's a lot of if this then that in their programming and um, uh, undoubtedly uh, it's good because then not everybody deals with the same um, experience over and over again. God, I missed a lot. Let's see if we can close that down. There we go. That one also doesn't have any planks. Holy crime, and he's. <laughs> so, if I'm standing right here and a Vambi attacks me, a Vambi comes along, if I am in his range within a certain number of foundations distant from him, he'll see me and he'll come after me. If I am inside the house, he will attack the closest thing in between him and me. And that's why we have spikes, and that's why the spike traps work. 
because they don't try to get around them. They just go in a straight line, uh, a sort of straight line. They zigzag and they, and they jostle around. They're programmed to do that. However, if it's a horde night and I'm over, uh, I'm over here when they spawn in, but in the meantime, I go over here after they spawned in and I'm standing here, they're still going to go towards where I was because when they spawn in, that's where they go. They, that's their point of interest. That's what NPCs are. They're non-player characters. They're programmed to take certain actions. So if you're in bed when uh, Horde Night begins, it's already been a half an hour. It takes 30 minutes. It's already been a half an hour. And no matter where you are when the little countdown comes up in the upper left corner, they're still going to go to where you were. So they'll go towards your bed. For those of you that go to bed on a Horde Night, weirdos. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't know anybody that goes to bed on a Horde Night. Um, Anyway, uh, I might. Maybe some of you do. So, uh, oh, I still have some on me. I already got that one. There we go. All right, we're done with that now. Um, so that that's how they work. Now, um, you know, ex your personal experiences aside, um, you have to not think about where you are right now, but where you were a half an hour ago when they spawned in. And that's that's for Horde Night. So if you're like, oh, you know, they, they always attack my house. Why are they attacking my house when I'm over here? Well, that's not where you were. <laughs> where you were when they spawned is where they're headed. And uh, if you can interfere with that, like a lot of guys successfully do, Death Spider and Dirt Gills, both of them uh, definitely check them out um, for Horde Night uh, information and other stuff. Um, if you are, um, if you set up an area for them to go to, then you need to be in that area before it starts. So like by 11.30 p.m provided they still attack at midnight. <laughs> it's been a year since I faced a ward. <laughs> so, because <laughs> I just found, it's, you know what, honestly, it's the noise. They And they don't do as much screaming as they used to. Uh, but, oh my God, they used to, they'd scream on their way in and they'd scream on their way out. It was so disturbing. <laughs> I don't I hope this is going to be big enough. I almost wish I could load um, my other save and uh, see how big that um, workshop is. Uh, I think it's four by three. But anyway, um, so you just need to be aware that on a horde night, think about where you're at at 11.30. You know. And a lot of people used uh, Game Edge as an example. Game Edge never stops moving, you guys. I don't know if you've noticed that, but everything is a super huge hurry. Everything has to be done right now, and he's always moving. So, um... There's no telling what, what his hordes are going to attack. <laughs> Most of the time, though, they, they go uh, towards him and um, they hit his fence and spike combo. Yeah, let's get some more of those in there. All right, oops. All right, there is the foundation. Is it big enough? I, I hope so. It should be. So we need two forges. We need cement mixers. Uh, I might build a second story upstairs for um, bricks, uh, brick um, 
crates, these crate thingy storage things. Uh, brick drying crate. Hey, I have the right words. Uh, I might build a second, like a loft, not a second full story, but a loft. And I think the door or the doorway, maybe we'll do um, pillars or uh, fences. Oh. We might do something different. We might do the fences, which wouldn't be different from my prior um, workshops. But we also need to have, we can't put a pole directly on the ground. You can only do that in side caves. Uh, but we can put a pole uh, right here. Uh, others poles go up there. We can put up uh, one there and uh, one there and then connect it to a pole inside or the wall to hang the, um, what's on the who's it's on? The, the uh, you know, the power lines. <laughs> wow. And definitely, uh, I've got to figure out something to do about these spike traps. Uh, we're going to put up a fence. But right now, uh, there's nothing stopping the Vambies from coming up the back porch right here. Absolutely nothing stopping them uh, other than that cliffside. So that entire bank is a danger. And this bank over here is a problem. But uh, like I said before, I have to be over here for them to think to do that. So if I'm standing here and they're over there, they'll come towards me. If I'm up here and they're over there, they'll be able to get to me. Uh, it's a pretty rare occurrence, actually, for me to be standing there. But I haven't seen a Bambi all day. Just that one poor schmuck that hit my spikes and died. <laughs> all right, you guys. I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Uh, this is where we're going to put the workshop. After we get all the crap moved out of the house, we'll put the roof on and um, make a nice area, sitting area and stuff like that. I am going to leave the water house and the sink where they are. I, well, I might move the sink, but the water house is definitely staying there. And um, oh, I thought that bird was a Vambi. And uh, that is how we are going to do it. So thank you again. I hope you have a lovely evening. Bye for now.